Hi everyone, today we're gonna install the green Droid GD custom ROM for Samsung Galaxy Y. I'm gonna show you the installation instructions of this custom ROM and then we're gonna have a look at a few of the features and the user interface. Now the whole ROM, as you know from the screenshots, is tinted in green color and we're gonna have a look at how it looks. So let's begin. First of all, download the ROM zip file to your SD card, then power off your phone. Then once your phone completely shuts off, hold the home button, the power and the volume up. It should boot you into recovery mode. From here choose apply update from SD card and flash the CWM zip file which is Cocoa Mode Recovery. Once you are here in Cocoa Mode Recovery, the first thing we should want to do is we are going to wipe data. So choose that, then choose yes. Then wipe cache partition. Again choose yes to confirm. And finally head to install zip from SD card. Then select choose zip from SD card. Now select the ROM zip file. It should be named GD1 zip. Here it is. Choose that. And choose yes the installation begins and I'll be back once this is done and ok the installation is complete it should take about one minute once it is done press the back button to go to the main menu and from here choose reboot system now your phone should now reboot So before I used to show the boot animations, I used to speed up videos, but it's just useless so I'm just gonna cut to the welcome screen. So once we get to the setup wizard, I'll be back. And okay, we are here. So as I mentioned earlier, this ROM's user interface is tinted in green. So pretty much everything we see should be in green color. I have to say, maybe it uses too much green. So let's have a look. Tap on the little Android guy. So I'm just gonna skip the setup here. So as you can see the battery bar, the toggles here, um, buttons, the lines, everything has green in it. The signal bars as well, the battery obviously, it's always in green. And this is the launcher, so at the bottom here we have icons. So post top secret is for the app drawer. It's kind of hard to read the text here. Uh, because it is in green and it doesn't really fit the wallpaper in my opinion it, uh, you just can't see the names of some maps here it's kind of hard to see okay so as usual we're gonna have a quick look at some of the things here so let's begin with the dialer now as you can see it is themed in white and green We've got the buttons at the top here then we have the contacts this is how they are themed Every picture has the Sanogem old guy here on the left. The background is white with green letters. Let's have a look at the SMS with the messages here. So this is the keyboard as you can see. It appears, it looks like exactly the stock one. So let's have a look at the drawer real quick. So the gallery is transparent, pretty much the same looking as the stock one. Let's have a look at the calendar pretty much the same as well the music player has also been themed from the looks of it as you can see it has again the green theme let's have a quick look just at how it looks when you play so the background has been changed as well as you can see in here this is how everything looks like and here we have the volume bar also themed in white in, in white and green let's have a look at the other volume bar when we switch okay the icon is green here This is the notification screen, as you can see it has a transparent background, We've, we have our little droid toggles here. Up there we have a shortcut to settings, and as you can see settings here are organized as well as tapped. So at the top here as you can see we have settings, which are the normal settings, then we have GD tools, which is the core tools, uh, such as changing the walk screen, ERT control, CPU setting, DSP manager, status bar cover, and CPU spy. And then we have system, 
which basically takes you to the uh, normal system menu in which you can see your Android version, your baseband, your kernel version. So let's have a quick look at, again at what we have here in the GD tools. So we have walk screen and toggles. Let's just have a quick look at what happens if I walk this. Okay. So we can change the walk screens from here. Then we've got EDT control, which opens up EDT tweaks. Basically, the app which modifies your status bar, just giving the battery icon percentage to show you how much battery you have left and so on. Then we've got CPU setting, which I suppose opens up no through CPU control, but it just appeared to force code for some reason. Then we've got DSP manager. I suppose you can also access this while playing music from music there. Then we've got status bar cover here, which gives us some status bar mode app. Let's have a look at these. Okay, so you can actually change the background color of the status bar. Let's give this a test. For example, if I choose red. So. Okay, we managed to change the status bar to red color but I suppose black is just best then we've got notification panel let's have a look at this as well so let's say I want to change it to even more green so let's have a look at what happens okay so as you can see the notification panel it turned into a green color but it appears that the transparency has disappeared from it okay so enough of these tools let's have a look at the browser let's see what we have here Okay, so uh, a little revamped browser here. Some things need to have been moved around as well as some icons changed and fonts. Let us have a look at the task manager as well. Okay, so it doesn't support swipe to remove, but still, we can open up your recently opened apps from here. You can scroll down and up. And then we have the task manager screen, also, which is themed in green. So, basically, white background and green, as you can see. Let's clear up the memory a bit from all of this opening. Okay, we are back. So, actually, this, seem, this seems to load up pretty fast when you clear memory. So, the ROM seems light. Let's have a look at the settings real quick. Let's have a look at Wi Fi because many ROMs seem to have Wi Fi problems lately. Let's just have a look at how this will do. Okay, so it manages to take the wireless. Let's just see if it will manage to connect and if I'll be able to use the internet connection. Okay, it says connected. Currently using my wireless and it is working. It loads super fast, everything seems to be fine. Also, I forgot to show you the My Files app. It is also themed in white and green. And that's pretty much it. I suppose there are more core features on this ROM which are not visually, uh, which you cannot see, but I suppose there are. You can check out the link in the video description for more information on this ROM, some features which are typed in, in text, as well as some more screenshots of this. So that is all. That is how we watch this ROM, and this was a quick review of it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.